I'm gonna get some open jail going. I haven't set up any of this on this computer yet, so this should be interesting. Oh god, I have to sneeze. <coughs> um, so we wanna get glad, GL at W3. Uh, I think uh, we're gonna need CMake. Do I have CMake already? Nope. Alright, we're gonna get, get CMake. So if you're watching, you're gonna learn how to get uh, get started with C++ programming and OpenGL so you can like make games custom how you want not using any engine, make your own engine, make your own logic and all that stuff. That's pretty much what I'm going to show. I'm going to eat cheese while doing it. Do you like cheese? We're going to go with all 64-bit stuff if we can manage to. Should probably move this over here. There we go. By default, CMake does not add a directory to the system path. Mm, I don't know. I'm not going to. I might do it later. Let's share a beer, shall we? It's refreshing. So we installed CMake. Right. I'm going to pin it to my start. Like that. Alright, so... Yeah, I guess that's first. the first step here is doing CMake. That's easy though. We need Glad. So we're going to look up Glad. Pleasant. Delighted. Glad. Aw. That's not what we're talking about though. Um, let's <laughs> see if we can find it. Glad header. Yeah. It's an OpenGL thing by this guy. So this is what we're actually looking for. This link here. Well, okay. I guess you can't tab over in this little note thing. I thought you could. That's fine. I won't. What does the website say? Yeah, we want to do the web service one. C, C, Plus, OpenGL. Um, I think we just need version 3.3. I can't remember what all we need here. I think we're just going to do everything. Let me check what version my computer supports. Check what version of OpenGL your video card supports. Probably an easy way to do this that I should know off the top of my head. Run DX DAG. Oh, this is this is talking about DirectX. I did not read that message that popped up. Okay. Yeah, I'm on HP ZBook 17 G2. Pretty old school. 32 gigs of RAM. Don't be jelly. DirectX 12. Uh, what I care about is the adjust. I'm not using DirectX this time. This does not say anything about OpenGL. I don't I don't want to accept your cookies. Let's do DX diag again. Okay, so we have a Quadro K twenty two hundred M. I'm gonna look at the specifications, I guess. This should say. 2 gigs of memory, GDR5. Oh, this is also the desktop one, I'm guessing. No? No, it's not. It's the M. Okay. OpenGL 4.6. Very nice. And we also have Kudo. We have Shader Model 5.1. This is what we need to know. This is what you need to know for how you, how you set up your program and stuff. Alright, so... I guess I could go to the latest. I think the thing I'm going to work on is in 3.3, but I might just go ahead and upgrade it to the latest and just force everybody to have a decent video card that uses it. And in case you're wondering what GLAD is, it's basically like, well, it's like glue. Um, the old, the old uh, extension grabber was called glue. It's like, it's just a little header that pulls in all your OpenGL stuff, so you just makes it easier. Alright, so this is good. 4.6. Uh, we're, we're gonna do the core. 
And if this for some reason doesn't work, I'll go to an older version. But based on my video card, this should work. 4.6 should be fine. Alright, let's do it. Click generate. There it is. We got a permalink. I guess I'll save that. God, that's too long. Never mind. Let's not save that. So I think we just want this. Let's unzip this sucker. Extract all. Okay. I think all we need is this glad.c. Let's take a look at it. First of all, how many lines is it? 1800 lines. And yeah, it's just a loader for all the different GL stuff. Alright. That's all we really need to know. We'll come back to that. Come back to that a little later. Let's get GLFW3. Oh, 3.2.1 is out. Very nice. So we're going to save this since this is a zip file. Open it. Now this is something we're going to have to compile and like add to our Visual Studio. Hold on, let's just extract it. Sure, the downloads is fine. For now, we'll move it later. I mean, it's only one meg. Alright, so we got all this here. So we're going to need to compile this. I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's got a CMake folder. So to compile it for our machine, we're going to go to CMake, browse to the source, which is in downloads, there's GLFW3. I haven't done this in a minute, so I think we go here. No? Maybe we just go to the root. I think, I think this is right. And we're going to build it to, we'll make a new folder called build. And I think that's all we're going to do. Now we're just going to hit configure. And we want, oh, there's a new version of Visual Studio out. Really? Hold on a second. Let's go to their site, check it out. Studio 19. Okay, the community version is out. I kind of want to get used to it anyway. There it is. Okay, so let's close this. Let it continue. Let it do its thing here. Are you guys ready for Visual Studio 19? 2019? Alright, here we are. Now, this is a lot of stuff we don't care about. ASP.NET, no. Python, no. Node.js, no. No. I think we're only going to just do development with C++. No. 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 Oh, this installs some DirectX stuff. One day. I'll, I'll do that. Not with this computer, though. Linux development. No, I think all we need is just just C++. Total space 3.37 gigs. Alright. Install while downloading, I guess. This might lag me out a little. Take survey. No thank you. Okay, so it's it's only about a gig to download and then when it installs it's going to be a little bigger. Ooh. Put that at the top of this little note file. VS Community 2019. You might as well use stuff that's actually supported, that way you can look up documentation. Everybody loves documentation. Documentation's cool, that's cool. I like that. Okay. Clone or check out code, open a new project, open a new folder. Okay, we're going to open a project or a solution, and what we're actually going to be looking for is this CMake thing. So let's generate it for 
2019. I don't think we need any special arguments here. This should be enough to tell it everything. And let's let it do its thing. Okay. I don't think I'm going to do the debug version. I think I'm just going to go for release because it's easier that way. Cannot find Vulcan, cannot find Doxygen. Okay. I should probably have Doxygen. Let's do that real quick. Let's do the Windows one. I'm just going to run it. I don't want to save it. 24 minutes! My god, Doxygen, you guys have the slowest servers I've ever seen. Do you even have servers? You guys on dial-up over there? Well, I guess we'll let that go. I'm not going to wait for it, though. Build example, build docs, I guess. I don't think I actually need very much of this other than like, one thing. Alright, let's do it. So, next thing we do is we hit generate. Generating done. Okay, now we can close this. Well, should have left it open probably. Oh well. So, we're going to go to Visual Studio. We're going to open a project or solution. And we're going to find GLFW. Downloads. Here it is. I put it in build. Okay, and I don't remember which one is the right one. I think this one. Yeah. Now we're going to get some options for different ways to build it. And I'm going to choose the release. Alright. 2019 is looking great. I'm going to do release. There's also min size release. I think I'm just going to do plain old release. 64. And otherwise, I think I'm just going to leave it on all build. Alright, let's do it. So, we'll launch it. We'll hit this debugger. I think I maybe should have just hit build. That's yeah, fine. Alright, well, we're doing it. It's building. Let's see if it has any errors. I think it'll be fine. Unable to start program. That's understandable because it's not something you run. So we did get a 28 succeeded, 0 failed. That's good. Does not need to rerun. Alright, so that's good. I think we're done there. We're going to go ahead and, well, we'll just minimize. Okay, so what's next? We need SDL2 mixer for playing sound. Alright, I think this is a very similar thing. We'll just go to SDL2 Simple Direct Media Layer, there it is, 2.0. We actually want SDL2 Mixer. There it is. Oh, actually I think what I need is the development libraries. Okay, so I gotta go back and keep the runtime library. Or the development library for Visual Studio. Okay, let's do it. Alright. So this one's the runtime. I'm going to delete that. There's the development library, the mixer library, or the mixer development. Yeah, so we're going to need both of these. So I'm just going to go ahead and extract them. Okay, yep, going through the motions. Okay, wait, are these pre-compiled? I think they might be. Yeah, okay, so there's no need to do the whole CMake and build with these. These are ready to go. So that's sort of nice. Extract. There it is. This one just has lives. Where's the source? Include. Oh, there's the include. Okay. Include. Yep. Yeah. Alright. So that's going to be for us doing our sound 